I'm here to show you how to do a video with Photoshop Elements. I'm using version 9 on there. I'm going to click on Create. On there, I go into Slideshow. It's going to go into the Elements Organizer in a minute. I click down here. Uh, I'm just going to say Remind Me Later. You're always getting these prompts. And what it's showing here, you can set the color for the background here. If I want an aqua or an orange or a green, I say OK. It has some uh, defaults here, transitions. I'll talk about those. I can make it a two second in there. Keep the preview quality high. Just read the little things here. I could add the pan and zoom to every slide automatically. Adds more visual effect there, so I'll say OK. What I have to do now, I have to get the photos. The way I do it is I click on Add Media. I prefer to use a folder. And I have some stuff from a trip that I did. And I could click in here. And if I click on a folder image, it shows a sample here. This, 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 this. And to do this, if I just use the control key, I select different ones here. Doing this quickly, it takes a long time to output this. So I'm doing this quickly, but I'm explaining it to you. It's showing all the slides here. If I want to reorder, I could just click and pull this over to here, pull this over to here. Or I could click on Quick Reorder, and it gives you like a storyboard. Uh, I go hit the back button, and let's say I want to add some text to a slide. And to do that, all I do is click on Add Media. Oops, wrong one. If I want to add some text on there, I click on Add Text, and then I could just say Bermuda Harbor say OK. I could change the font here, the color um, on there, so I could make it another color on there. I could pick the opacity on there. It has defaults there. If I want another place, I just click on it and move it. So I've got that there. Let's say I want to add a blank slide there, like a title slide blank slide there, default background color for the images. And I could add a background to it. Double click. Nice with the palm tree there. And then I could add more text here. Trip to Bermuda. Say OK. We've got that there. I could pull it around, add other credits and stuff like that. It's in the wrong place. Click, bring it to the left. On there, these are transitions. And I change them by just clicking that drop down arrow there. This works with almost every version here of uh, Photoshop Elements. You have a, more, a little bit more creative control than you do with the Windows version of this for the PC. Um, you can do a few other things. I'm not crazy about them. I could add clip art. I double click, pull it around. I don't need it. I just delete it on there so it gives you some fun things if you're doing something for a baby shower or a tribute on there so next thing we want to do if I want to preview the show I just click on full screen preview it goes and shows you what it looks like it's showing the transitions on each slide I press the escape to get out of it next thing here I want to save the project and I'll just call this Bermuda video on uh, there. When you do the outputting of it, that can take a few minutes. I'm not going to do that here. I want to keep the slideshow brief. Uh, let's say you want to add music here. I click inside here and I could go and choose any song that I want. And I'm in this chat in Jeremy and I could just say a summer song. You have a thing here. If you click on Fit Slides to Audio, it's a great way to get everything to go at the beginning and the ending on there. Um, this is going to end after 35 seconds. But if I go into the preview, As we walked by. I just hit the escape key. You get the beautiful, lovely music there. Now, if I want to change the pan and the zoom in here, other thing you can do, you can, it says crop to fit, fit on slide. 
I could go here, make it smaller. I could stretch it. Ooh, I don't want to do that. Let's keep it the way it's supposed to be. And we could crop. It says crop to fit there. I could say fit to slide. I want to get this here smaller. I hold down the sh shift key. It keeps the proportions. Hold the shift key down. So I have it smaller. I could put a text box here. If I want to change the background color here, I can make it black. Put a text box under it. On there, so I've got that. I'll go to another slide. And let's say I want to do the pan and the zoom. Check on it. This is the start. Uh, I could adjust it. The end, so if I want it to be a close-up just of one of the Bird of Paradises, I click over there, and I have the end there. I could add additional ones there to the slide here. I'll just preview this. It's on a summer's day, laughing all our cares away. I would suggest working with high resolution photos to make this work. Uh, I'm going to save the project again. If I want to output it, this is short, I'll click on output. I could save as a file, burn to a disk on here. I can make it a movie. I have it as a small one here. You have details here. I'm going to do web here and I'm going to just say OK. It's going to take a moment to do there. It's going to go, I want to put this in my videos folder, and I could call this Bermuda Video. Save. Uh, I've done this before. This should take about a moment or two. I could discuss a couple of other things there. Um, you could add something that you pre-recorded. You can also do narration with one of these, which is kind of cool. On there. So if you're doing something where you're demoing how to plant a garden, you've got a few photos of, you know, the seeds, the dirt. You could say, dig the hole, plant the seeds, water it. Now, I could put this into my catalog if I want to. I don't want to. I say no. But if I minimize this, or if I go into my videos, I have a few things here. Bermuda video here. If I double click on this, it's, or actually I could play it right in Windows 7, but I'm going into this here. So we have this done. Uh, you can see that the resolution is not the greatest when I make it large, but when it's small, it's not bad. On there, and then if I save the project here, on there, we would have that saved there. Uh, one thing I will say is when you're doing this, be prepared to spend some time. It's not difficult, a little time consuming in the Windows uh, Media Player. Uh, you can do these with some instant clicks here, but this gives you a little bit more control. Last thing, I would suggest getting your pro pictures properly retouched and sized before you start doing the video on there. You can also edit this at a later date.